zipping through the memories the first time he met grandma of little malachi he was very funny isn't all that easy for daisha cheney day by day doing what i can her son's life cut short is hard to even describe the pain she feels living day in and day out how do you move forward from something like this that's a question I'm still trying to find the answer to. But pushing toward a positive light as much as she can, Daisha's new mission is to hear her little Malachi's beating heart one more time. She donated his heart after he passed away in the hospital. That's my only child's heart. Um, and it would bring me a little bit more comfort to know that a piece of him is living on and helped another family be able to take their baby home. So that's why she's taken to her Facebook page called Fighting for Malachi. It's almost reached 5,000 group members. The actual post she's written has been shared hundreds of times. It's even reached people in Australia. I have to turn my phone off just to even sleep for five minutes. It's been blowing up, but it's a good thing. All Daisha knows from this single letter written by Life Center is her son's heart went to a little girl similar to a 17 month old on the West Coast. I want nothing more than to hear his heart and I'll drop everything and do anything to do it, even if it's just for 30 seconds. Until Daisha finds the family that she hopes to meet, she's clinging on to the beautiful memory she has got his little footprints of a little boy who filled her life and family with joy reporting in st mary's andrea olson khq local news